Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ria and welcome to Eye Candy by Ria. In today's video, we're going to be talking about some of my October favorites and items that have failed me. Overall, October was a freaking blast. I had such a good time in terms of going to New York, getting to actually purchase the makeup I've wanted to for the longest time. Sorry, there is something in my eye. Oh my god. There was a full slasher in my eye. Do you know how much that stinks, guys? Because I got to go to New York and travel, I actually ended up realizing I do have a lot of holy grails that I ended up taking with me and some new products that I ended up discovering such a deep love for because I could not stop using it in New York and I knew if I did not have those products I would not I would not have survived okay my makeup would have looked ratchet as hell I would love it if you guys could give this video a like and subscribe if you want to see more beauty and makeup related content and without further ado and further blabbing if you want to know my favorites and fails for this month or the last month I don't know what I'm talking about then just keep watching. So my first favorite is the Fenty Beauty Sunstalker Bronzer in Caramel Cutie. And I absolutely freaking love this bronzer. I bought this like a month ago and I swear, I don't even know how I haven't hit pan yet, but I can see that ring. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's like the ring of the pan. So I know I'm going to hit the bottom real quick because I honestly use this bronzer every single day. This just gives me so much dimension and depth. Like, it just, I contour and bronze with it. So this is so beautiful for if you have an olive or yellowish undertone. It doesn't have that ready warmth color, which I hate in bronzers. It actually makes me look like red. And I just don't like it and muddy but this is actually the most beautiful just I don't know why it's looking glossy on camera but it's just the most beautiful even bronzer like before with other bronzers I used to set my face and then put a bronze on top which I just found a, like a separate set I don't know how to describe this but when I put on my stick foundation I don't actually have to set it before applying this and this applies so evenly and smooth and not patchy. So this has definitely been a favorite. And the second I hit pan on this, you best believe I'm running back into Sephora and getting myself another one. Next up, I have been living for these two products from Benefit Cosmetics. And this is the Benefit Roller Liner. I have used other liners throughout the month and have come to realize that this eyeliner is thebomb.com. I use this every day for winged liners. It is so flexible. It is so beautiful. I absolutely love it. It is black. It sits down in time. I have had really good winged liner days with this liner and I know if I'm going to do a winged liner, I need this liner in my life. Like, honestly, with any just lining my eyes I can use any eyeliner but for a wing liner I'm not going to do it without this eyeliner in my hand okay this is a felt tip liner it is so bomb.com it doesn't pick up on any like shimmers or glitters it just glides over them so seamlessly which is something which is very very rare for liners because you know a good eyeliner from a bad is if it tugs on your eyes and this just goes on so smoothly and then the next one from the roller lash line is the roller lash mascara and let me tell you something when i first got this truth be told i said i liked it but i was like i like it you know but i actually freaking live for it like usually when i don't like a mascara i'll try it again after like a two week waiting period but where it has time to dry out maybe a week and a half and that's the golden spot and let me tell you when you first get this you're gonna hate this if you have long lashes but they're very like longer lashes because i find like any wet mascara at the beginning just weighs down my lashes 
but after that one and a half week period this is like a holy grail honestly i never thought i'd say this because i had such doubts about this when i first tried it it hardly held a curl it just weighed my lashes down it was like eh, it didn't do anything but this honey this is everything and more since we're on the topic of eyes i thought i would let you guys know about this one eyeshadow i have been living for and using a lot every time i go out i tend to just gravitate towards that shadow and it has been the nars shadow in goa this is the most beautiful duochrome shadow it is so what i do with this is i take a little blending brush and blend it on my crease so it just gives you that kind of brown crease color and then with my fingers i just take it and just put it all over my lid and it gives you that i don't know if you can see it's right here i'll turn down my ring lights What's looking? so you can see it gives you that multi-dimensional shift the light hits it it looks green but to the side, it gives you that brown smoky eye. And let me tell you, every time I wear this shadow out, everyone's like, oh my gosh, I love this brown smoky eye. And then they go, wait, no, it's green. Wait, no, it's brown. I have no idea what eyeshadow this is, but I need it in my life. And I'm like, guys, it's Nas Goa. You can get this at like some Mecca Maximas. Do not skip out on this. It was like $36 or something, but so freaking worth it because this is like i just use this for like one shadow looks and like i'm good to go if i'm in a rush and just need a shadow that i know and trust will look bomb on anything it's this eyeshadow and i honestly wore this any other day i wasn't using my kali bible palette which was since i got it which was the first day of getting there i used it every single day so another favorite of mine has to be the Kali Bible palette. Now I know, okay, I've complained about this in the past, that if you haven't used it for a long enough time, you can't really say that you like it or not. You know, you can't really tell that it's your favorite. But I legit got this the second I landed in New York, which was like, I don't know, the 11th or 12th, really early on in the month. So ever since then, I have been using this palette every single day. Day. I have been putting Bible all over my lid and sometimes just chai all over my lid just as an eyeshadow for the day and honestly it just gives you like chai just gives the hint of peachiness or Bible just gives you that hint of mauve and they are both so beautifully pigmented like let me just show you they are so perfect just for like an everyday all over lid action that has just been my favorite go-to because obviously i don't want my makeup to be too obvious at work so that's why i put that all over the lid and stay away from the shimmers because that's again a bit too noticeable so for my everyday looks i've just been reaching for those two shadows and if i had to go anywhere after that i would just pop on like a quick look from the palette but i have been using that palette every single day and I hands down have been freaking loving it and considering getting another one as a backup like I've never considered that about any other palette but that and the sultry palette so I'm just saying I'm just saying I never thought I'd actually say this but I've been obsessed with blush I don't know what it is about blush that makes me like feel like a pixie or a fairy or like the child of earth like a shining goddess i don't know like without blush if i don't wear blush like i am today i just feel a little bit lost you know like what's going on like something is missing that is how i feel like right now like i feel before i used to be like who needs blush in their life people who wear blush look like clowns like honestly blush equaled looking like a clown but now I'm just like, I haven't worn blush, I feel empty. Like where is the color to my face? Where is it beautiful? Honestly, I just like the blush on the nose, like on, that's like top of it all. So this is the Milani Baked Blush in Rose Dior. And this is kind of like a rosy 
apricotty blush and this is gorgeous. I don't think any other drugstore blush can give you. This is definitely such a beautiful... Ugh. The thing is, I go way too overboard when I see blush. That's a problem. That is a problem in itself. Like, look at that. Now I feel like I'm an instant, like, pixie, fairy dust, goddess, I don't even know what I'm saying anymore, child of earth. <laughs> um, I love this blush so much, I cannot stop staring at myself in the monitor, like, I love it. I feel a little bit more alive and awake right now. I... It just gives you that, like, useful glow. Like, I don't even need to wear a highlighter if I wear this. So from the drugstore, other blushes I've seen are very glittery and sparkly or either, like, super matte, which I'm not quite into. But this is, like, dewy and glowy without the glitter and sparkle. It is beautiful. It looks wet almost, but not really wet. Just, like, this beautiful kind of light that's coming from within your skin, but you're, like... Where is it coming from? Rose Dior, I think that's the like prettiest one of the bunch, but hey, any of them I think would work the same and I highly recommend this. I've been loving this little NARS limited edition palette, but I'm going to briefly mention this because I know you can't get a hold of this anymore. I mean, you can probably get it off Nordstrom Rack if they still have like, they do stock like limited edition stuff, but again, this is not a glittery blush. This is just blush with a sheen and a glow. And that is what I've been living for. Can you tell I have literally wrecked this baby? Like, this was all, like, three-dimensional. It's lost it. Like, I usually just take my brush around this area. Or between these two blushes have been my favorite. I love this hot pink one. I don't know what it's called new fling or something yeah new fling i am scared to use this up like now i have to think about using this more sparingly because i've been before getting another blush i'm going to show you guys i was using this every single day so now i just need to reconsider where my priorities lie with my blushes and slow down with this baby because i don't want to use her all up before it expires okay this is too beautiful I'm honestly too lazy to get my next blush product. It is in my bag. I literally take it with me so that I can put it on in my car before going to work because I will not forgive myself if I miss putting that on every single day. That is how crazy I am. I'm gonna get it because I love the face. I don't think you guys should be surprised because I feel like everyone has been loving this product. It is the Cover Effects Monochromatic Blush Duo in Pink Dahlia. And oh my god, can you guys tell I'm a lover of pink blush? Like, hello. Isn't this perfect? And obviously I've been using this side more. You can use this side for like a little bit of a top coat. But you can be using this side as well. And let me tell you something. You have to go real soft with this baby. Because she is super pigmented. And I was like, why do people not just get one of these and be happy and done with it? I want to get every single one of them. Like, this is the most beautiful blush ever. Like, if you just go for the softer one like the matte one, it almost softens your pores. Like it makes your skin look blurred, like blurred. But this one makes you look like a fairy, like a goddess. Like it's glowing, like a bit more glowy than this. Like when I wear this, I don't think I would ever need a highlighter. Like this is something I cannot go without. Honestly, that is why it is in this little baby in my makeup bag. Like. If you want a video on what's in my makeup bag, definitely let me know. But this is always in my purse every single day. So I don't miss out on this step. Like, that is how much I love this baby. Okay? I love you forever. Okay. Favorites. Favorites. This baby doesn't look like it's been used. Okay? But I have worn this to a ball, to formals, to when I want my lips looking juicy, lush, voluminous. I just put on a, like a beautiful like 
mauvey pink lip liner and then I fill this in without any base and this baby just I look like a freaking brat doll okay I look like a 2000 brat doll that is out there living her best life okay this is not even sticky I I am okay unpopular opinion but I think the Fenty glosses are super duper sticky and I do not like that. I didn't even mention what this product is. It is the Per Cosmetics Glitter Lip Enhancer. And what I love about this is you cannot even feel the glitter. This reminds me, honestly, of NARS Orgasm, the blush, but for your lips. This is such a beautiful baby. The second I use this in a tutorial, I could not stop putting this baby down. And another gloss I have not been able to put down, I've just been living for glosses recently, is the NYX Lip Lingerie Gloss in Sable. So this is what I have on right now, and with this paired is Ginger Lip Liner from Kylie Cosmetics, and I freaking live, breathe, die for this combo. If I ever want like a nude, glossy lip for any tutorial, I get this. I wear this whenever I want a nude glossy lip. This is honestly so beautiful. It starts off super duper glossy and wet looking and it just like fills in any blurry lines. It just blurs out your lips. And then over time, sometimes you just don't want the glossy lips, those like glossy kind of look and you just want a little bit of color. Then it kind of transforms into a creamy kind of satin lip color which I love and last but not least because I feel like this video is like five bajillion years long I am going to mention my fail for the month and the fail has been the Sigma liquid pen eyeliner in Wicked I thought I loved this baby I mean I freaking love the blackness and I think that if you are just aligning your eyes it's cute, it's nice, it's super black. Let me tell you something, it is like really dark, but it tugs on your eyes and if you have any like shimmery eyeshadow or any glitter, it will pick up that glitter really quickly and it'll be really, really hard to get off the brush tip. So, or the felt tip, and it's really hard to get a really thin line. Like I feel like on the tip of it, with the Benefit Roller Liner, a lot of product, like a good amount of product comes out so you can create that really fine tip for a wing liner. But with this, like it becomes really super patchy and you have to press down on it, which I, I've had many winged liner fails with this and I am not willing to sacrifice anymore when using this for winged liner. But hey, if you are still wanting just if you're not like a, if you don't wear shimmery eyeshadow and don't wing out your liner, which I doubt many of you guys do, then, I mean, this might be for you, but for me, it, it's slightly, I don't know, it was just, it was the first line I tried in a long time that was quite disappointing. Anyway, thank you guys so, so much for watching. Thank you for anyone that stayed through till the very, very end. Like, you guys are the real MVPs. I would love it if you guys would comment down below what your favorite has been this month or what your makeup fail has been. It can be makeup or it can be anything in your life. Like, you know, if a snack disappointed you. I know many have for me, like, white chocolate Tim Tams. Yeah. And Cadbury Caramel. Those two just disappointed. Fails. Those were fails. But it's not beauty or makeup related, so... I'm sorry. Again, I'm digressing. Please, please don't let this deter you from liking and subscribing this video. I love you guys with all my heart. And I'll catch you, my beautiful best friends, in the next one. Bye!